bit. Good morning. Whew. It's uh, funny how fast you lose your trail legs. <clears throat> I think we walked four miles and I'm drenched in sweat and totally out of breath. Give me a day or two. I'll be back at where I was for. Um, we have like two miles left to our lunch spot and we're probably going to stay there for an hour because it's hot Ugh. and then keep on going we're not probably not going to see snow today tomorrow we might definitely will on our third day because we're getting up high now it'll be interesting no snow so far because we are sweating our asses off like we do but it's cool the environment is so much different already and you hear that raging river it's nice also scary because we're gonna have to cross rivers like that all the time soon but i will figure that out once we get there but yeah Come on, trail legs. Remember what you did before. Hating my life because I got <laughs> pine snap all over me. Whoa. What's this doing? <laughs> Alright, Mama. I'm gonna start recording you in a minute. I'm gonna post this one. Look at how green it is. I like this. We just had another episode of Nature TV while we were having our lunch. Um, there was a baby bird. Ooh, I'm about to drop my brick in. Uh, a baby bird who was trying, trying out his new wings and he couldn't really handle the wings just yet, but he did a, he tried and he did a good job. And the mom and bird was right behind him watching him. And it was just nice to sit there and enjoy our lunch and watch nature TV at its best. See, this is what you can't have back home. But here, you can have nature TV every day. It's amazing. Oh, I gotta get my pack off. Okay. See you later. It's so late. At mile 760, we're going to have a really steep climb. Go from 9,500 feet to 1,100 feet. Is it here? Max! No. <laughs> we 
Find another meadow. And we found the snow. There it is. Hope it's exciting. And a bit scary. But most part of it is exciting. Why am I singing? It's because I'm excited. We are closing in on camp and it's going to be a shorter day than we expected or was planning. Um, we're actually going to the campsite that we were supposed to go to yesterday. But it's, it's like 6.30 and it's been a hot day. It's our first real day back from our holiday and somehow we lost our entire trail body. Dirt face is back. Um, so we're, it's, it, it's, it's a shorter day, but it's still a good day. Plus, we found this awesome meadow. There's grass on it. And this campsite, you can camp on grass. <laughs> we don't see grass on the PCT. So this is, this is a new thing that we need to experience. But, most important thing, my quest of finding cows, to walk among cows, is not over. Because this campsite is by the Cow Creek. So the name itself is promising, but the comment says that there have been sightings of cows and cow shit. I'm hopeful. This could be my... This could be my day, like my one time to walk among cows. So, I don't mind having a shorter day if I can see cows. I mean, I've seen so many PCT videos where people saw cows, they woke up with cows, or they got scared because they mistake a cow for a bear. Can't be that hard, right? Oops, so hopefully this is my day. We have like a mm, mile left, I think. So fingers crossed. I have not seen any cows, not even cow shit down here, which was a disappointment, but I guess they're back home having their evening dinner or something. And I wasn't allowed to camp on the grass because the boys wanted to camp up there. Apparently the tent site was epic. I mean, it was pretty cool. How are the cows going to come up there and wake me up in the morning? And they clearly don't appreciate the feeling of grass underneath your naked feet. Because that thing is magical. Up there, no grass, only rocks. And hopefully 
hopefully we can, when we are done with the when we are up in the real Sierras because so far it's still a bit a bit of a desert we won't be having this dirt feet and I even got a blister and I don't know how I've got the same shoes same socks the climbing today has been gradual no steep uphill or downhill and it's been a short day but still I got a blister so I guess I'm just not like I told you I lost my my uh, trail body my hiker body it's gone there's a lot of swallows underneath this bridge pretty cool but yeah the boys clearly don't understand this bare feet walking in grass it's the best I'm telling you Right, I'm gonna get some water so I can cook some dinner. And then I'm gonna show you that epic tent site, which is not as epic as this campsite. Or that campsite. Oh well. This is our epic camp spot. Chad's tent, my tent, Randy's tent. I mean, it's pretty cool. We got a fireplace here, which Chad already lit up. Not sure who Walker is, but he's pretty dead. So the guy said it had a dirty face, and I said, do I have a dirt mustache again? And they said, nah, the whole face is covered in dirt. And I guess they were right. Yeah. How's dinner? Delicious. What's for dinner? Ramen. Ramen? <laughs> it's keeping me warm too at the same time. It's true. It's colder up here? No. Yeah. 